You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Humour in Joel Thomas Jumilty in his Satire and the Hebrew Prophets points out the scathing satire of Joel 1 5, where drunkards lament their future abstinence. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Wail, all you wine drinkers, wail because of the new wine, for it's been snatched from your lips. This is my own translation, the temporary English version, because likely the next time I revisit this verse it'll have changed. But for this one I've mixed the NIV and the NRSV, because I think the NIV's snatched works better here than the NRSV's literal but un English cut off. But on the other hand, the NRSV's wine drinkers works better than the NIV's literal but un English, or at least stilted English, drinkers of wine. And translation is really interesting. Those examples are fairly trivial. But take a look at the Septuagint of this verse. It goes something like this in English Wake up, drunkards, from your wine, and weep. Mourn, all you that drink wine to drunkenness, for joy and gladness are removed from your mouth. Did you notice the difference? Hebrew Wake up, drunkards, and weep. Wail, wine drinkers, wail, because of the new wine, for it's been snatched from your lips. Greek, wake up, drunkards, from your wine, and weep and mourn, all you that drink wine to drunkenness, for joy and gladness are removed from your mouth. The specification of drink wine to drunkenness, where the Masoretic text just had drinkers of wine, makes this verse moral. In the Hebrew, it had specified drunkards to start with, but the second time they were simply wine drinkers. Now, there's some justification for the Septuagint translation because, in at least one place, the, the nifal of the verb does mean to be drunk. But most of the time, and I think always in the Karl, it just means to drink. The Septuagint also specifies that joy and gladness will be snatched away, not wine. And thus, at a stroke, as well as moralizing, and making this a verse about being drunk, the translators have killed the joke. And that's what translators and interpreters often do to the Bible. They make it moral, but kill the joke. Bible readers want a safe moralistic text. But the more I've read and studied scripture over the decades, the more I've become aware that the writers were more often sharp-tongued troublemakers with a biting sense of humour than they were safe moralizers like the Septuagint translators. The Italians have a saying, traditore traditore, or in French, traduire c'est trahir to translate is to betray scripture is often sharp frequently cutting to the bone quite often funny but seldom safe and translators tame it always so that's my lesson from Joel's biting humour beware lest you soften the Bible A soft Bible is a betrayed Bible. Bye for now, and next time, humour in Amos. My favourite book, almost. <laughs>